Now let's take a look in the mechanical refrigeration technology for the hydrocarbon dew point control. It is very similar to the Jolly Thompson valve technology, but in this way, instead of having the effect of pressure to reduce the temperature and with that have the leak affection of the, uh, the heavier fractions of the, the natural gas, we use an external source of energy. So in the starting point of the process is the same. We have the dry gas from the chromatography. We saturated that with water. If your gas is saturated, there is the addition in this case of an inhibitor. It can be methanol or other inhibitor to decrease the, uh, the hydrate point of formation. We have a multi-pass heat exchanger to use the recovery of energy in the system and we have a heat exchanger with an external cooling media and this cooling media is a closed loop a recirculation closed loop where i can use for instance nitrogen the compressed nitrogen i decrease the temperature of nitrogen it partially liquefies and i have expansion and with that, I get lower temperatures than my natural gas stream, and I am able to con partially condensate the heavy hydrocarbons or to liquefy the heavy hydrocarbons in order that I control the hydrocarbon dew point. In the same way, I have the three phase vessel separator where I recover my inhibitor. I return my liquid stream that are at lower temperatures to do the pre-cooling of my gas that is going into my process again i have another valve here to do another depressurization eventually i will recover the gas phase and i will send the liquids to storage the gas phase it returns also to the multi-pass which exchanger for pre-cooling of the gas and with that, I increase the temperature and I am able to send it to the sales.